Okay, welcome back again to my virtual class. Now we're gonna tackle about the lesson four, how to set the FITT or the frequency, intensity, time, and type based on training principles to achieve and or to maintain the health-related fitness. So the effective training takes time and take patience. So if one adheres to the proper principles of training, results will definitely be seen. So performance will be improved and by physiological changes will occur as well. So the proper program of exercise keeps in mind several principles of training. So we have eight, the overload, progression, recovery, reversibility, specificity, variation, individualization, and the maintenance okay so let's talk about what is overload principle so the overload principle simply put the overload principle relies on the premise that to improve the muscle and must produce work at the level of a work so the body adjusts accordingly with the overload principle of the fitt or fitness or the frequency intensity time type goals are adjusted so, dito, ang overload principle, it just says here that it relies on the premise that to improve. So, kung ano ang kailangan mong gawin, yun ang kailangan mong gawin. So, kung meron ka ng ginagawa, you were doing or adding another activity. Kaya nga tinatawag na overload. It means, sobra yung ginagawa mo because you want to achieve it more in a short time or short span of time. So, so, ang ginagawa mo, you were overloading yourself. So, yung mga ginagawa mo, dinadagdagan mo. Or, kung meron ka mga activity, tinataasan mo. So, kung yung medium intensity lang yun, ginagawa mo siyang high intensity. So, yun ang tinatawag na overload principle. So, next principle is we have the progression principles. Since, for a program to achieve more gains, it must be progressive. So, kailangan in everything such or everything what you were doing, there must be a progress. Siyempre, hindi ka naman nag-aral ng grade 1 hanggang grade 1 ka na lang ba? No! ba? From grade 1, there is a progress on you. Nakita nila, that's why you move up to grade 2. And so, and, and so forth. So, in what or in every program or everything you do, you must achieve more gains. O kahit simple um, progress lang yan, okay lang yan. It's still a progress. So, this means that as the body adapts to the initial overload, gradually and naturally, but time must be allowed for the body to regenerate and build. Not because you were overloading or dinadagdagan mo yung intensity or yung exercise itself mo is dinadagdagan mo yung repetitions niya, yung weights niya, yung time kung kail ilang bes mo siya or yung over yung duration niya dinadagdagan mo it doesn't mean na i over mo rin yung katawan mo it take it needs to rest your body needed a rest ba kung ikaw nga sa um pagkatapos mo sa isang buong maghapon na gawain kailangan mo ng pahinga ba managhehingi ka ng pahinga ganun din yung katawan mo mga anak so it it needs to be regenerated for your body to adapt easily and naturally kahit na dinadagdag mo siya ng workload okay so, and after the progression, we have the recovery principle. So, an athlete needs rest and recuperation for the body to adjust properly. So, as I said, kailangan ng katawan natin ng pahinga para makapaggawa or makapag-regenerate, mabuild ulit. Kung meron man natsirang tissue, may, na, may nasaktan ka man, na-injured ka, at least makakapag-recovered yung katawan mo. So, the adaptation to physical activity occurs gradually and naturally. But time must be allowed for the body to be regenerate and build. So, kailangan ang katawan natin yun nga. Binibigyan natin ng allotted time para makapagpahinga tayo. Kasi sa progression principle, the overload must be adjusted and increased gradually. So, kung sa tingin mo, nung dinag, yung dinagdag mo una is hindi na nahihirapan yung katawan mo or nakapag-adjust na siya agad, it's time for you to increase or dagdagan mo ulit. 
or tagalan mo pa para naman magkaroon ka ng panibagong um, uh, kumbaga challenge sa kanyang katawan. Pero, it needs a recovery for your body to be regenerated. Next, we have the reversity principle. So, the reversibility principle, so it all gains due to exercise, will be lost if one does not continue the exercise. So, the body will not be able to maintain levels of fitness without maintaining exercise. So, for example, you were a bodybuilder. Yan. So, ganito na lang ang siste. Ikaw ay nagbubuhat for your body to be bigger and bolder. Diba? So, malalaki na yung muscle mo. And then suddenly, you, you think your body is already enough. Do you think na ang katawan mo is magre-red, uh, mag-maintain siya if you were not doing in any maintenance exercise? No. Kasi, pag once na in-stop mo yung pagpapalaki ng katawan mo, the, the, yung payback niya sa'yo, bali, ang balik niya sa'yo, kung para magbubumerang siya, from bigger muscles, it will be smaller. And then, magiging sag pa yung skin mo. Kasi parang, ini, ano mo siya eh, binitawan mo siya sa ere. You are already at peak, and then suddenly you stop. Nasa climax ka na eh, then you stop. So, kailangan, kahit nandun ka na, you were maintaining. You were maintaining your excel- exercise. So, the muscular atrophy, ang tawag sa pagliit ng muscle is muscular atrophy. This is the shrinking of muscles sa car. From bigger and then biglang nag-shrink. From the word itself, shrink, biglang lumiit. Okay? So, your muscle will be shrunk in, again. And then, you need to start over from the start, from the overload principle. Kasi nga, you were not doing your maintenance exercise. Although you already received, or you already reached your goal. Pero it doesn't mean na once you already received, eh mag stop ka na. Just like in studying. Not, not because na nag-graduate ka na, it will just stop there. Diba? ba? Katapos mo mag-aral, kunya, kunyari, nakapagtapos ka ng college. And then, you can take your master's. Pwede ka pa mag-masteral. Or, after ng masteral, may doctorate ba siya? Right? So, after that, hindi lang naman basta-basta yung puro ka na lang aral. You need to work for your future or to settle your, um, to secure your future. So, kailangan mo mag-work. So, hindi lang din doon nagtatapos. So, kailangan at kailangan. Merong, katapos ng isa, meron ka pang gagawin na isa. So, there always a step before you settle down. Okay? And then, we have the specificity spe, specificity principle. Huh? So, the specificity eh, the specificity principle <laughs> The specificity principle states that each form of activity would produce different results. Okay? So, this means that if one has a specific gain in mind, one must, one must apply plan and ex- execute activities that would target those goals. So, dapat, you are specific on what you are doing. Ganito yun mga anak. If you want to reach something, do it one at a time. Huwag mo silang pagsasabayan. Kasi kung pagsasabay-sabay mo sila, may ikaw din ang mahihirapan. You need to be specific in every time you decided. For example, you want to make a diet plan. So, ang specific mo is to smaller your waist. So, ang gagawin mong program is pang paliit ng bewang. Hindi mo gagawin yung pampalaki ng hita, pampalaki ng puwet, no. So, dapat yung mga exercise o yung program itself, yung mga naka-align na exercise, dapat naka-align din sa, um, sa tina-target goal mo, which is yung magpaliit ng waistline. So, you need to be specific kasi kung hindi mo rin naman gagawin, you have your goal, pero hindi mo siya ginagawa in a right way the tendency is hindi rin ma-apply yung plan. And then, even the execution of the different activities, hindi rin siya magko-complement. Hindi siya mag, 
Um, kumbaga, ito yung goal mo, ito yung ginagawa mo. Hindi sila nagbimit, right? So, dapat, ito yung goal mo, ito yung ginawa mong plan, dapat nagbimit sila. So, that you can see the progress. O yung makikita mo, you were doing a great time. Or you were doing a right thing. So, aside, so next, we have the variation principle. So, adaptation can be maximized by varying physical activity. So, an athlete may hit a plateau with a constant, unchanging routine. So, sometimes repetitive stress injuries might develop out of the same routine performed over and over again. If you think na na stress na sa isang uh, isang activity o isang exercise yung katawan mo, uulitin mo pa ba? Uulitin mo pa ba siyang gawin? Uulitin po ba yung exercise? No. Kasi nga, nagkakaroon lang ng repetitive stress. When we say repetitive stress injuries, eto na yung nagkakaroon na ng torn. Or natutorn na yung mga muscle tissues mo. Or napupunit na sila. So, so sa tingin mo, etong every time na ginagawa mo tong exercise na to, is sumasakit. I mean, pag nag-exercise ka kasi, um, pag hindi sumakit ang katawan mo, hindi ka nagkaroon ng body pain, it means you were not executing the exercise properly. Kasi, sabi mo, ay, ganito pala lang ito, hindi na akong pala masakit, wala man lang, wala man lang, ano, sa, sa katawan ko, wala man ako nararamdaman. You were not doing it perfectly. Okay? Hindi mo na execute ng maayos yung exercise, kaya hindi sa masakit. Pero, what I mean in the repetitive stress injuries, yung literal na sumasakit. For example, you were just gonna lift a thing. Maglilift ka lang. And then, masakit na agad. Wala pa man, hahawakan mo pa lang, konti pa lang. As in, konti pa lang. Ah, ah, ouch, ah, mo nang ganun. O, ba diba? This is the repetitive. So, it is the time that you need to stop. You need to stop that exercise. Isip ka ng possible na pwede mong gamitin. Or, halos katulad ng exercise na to, pero, hindi ma stress or hindi ka magkakaroon, makaka-acquired ng isang injury. Injury. Injure. Injury. So, once na inulit-ulit mo yon, the tendency nga, ma ma magkakaroon ka ng ano, injury, and then, pwede pan lumala. Pwede biglang sumabag yung muscles mo. So, yung variation principle, dapat, you need to change. Kasi, Ah, uh, hindi naman hanggang-hangga. Ito, kung ano lang yung routine na ginagawa mo, mag stay ka na lang doon. You need to do another technique for your body to be built and to be fitted. Hindi porket ito, nagsisettle ka na lang dito. Dapat, you aim more. Dapat dinadagdagan mo kung ano yung nakasanayan mo na. Okay? So, next, we have the individualization principle. So, no two people are truly alike. So, sabihin natin, meron ka mang kamukha, pero it doesn't mean kahit kambal pa kayo, kahit um, identical twins pa kayo, it doesn't mean na porket magkamukha kayo, is parehas na rin kayo ng, um, ng characteristics, ng personality, ng attitude, no. Sabi, walang para dalawang tao ang magkaparehas na magkaparehas. Pwedeng magkamukha sila, pero hindi sila parehas ng mga pananaw. So, each individual has been unique or has a certain unique set of physical characteristics. Kahit sabi mong kalmbal kayo, meron pa rin isang feature na hindi kayo magkamukha. Possible, yung isa meron siyang nunal, yung isa wala siyang nunal, right? So, we have our own uniqueness because we have um, individualization. So, nakadepende sa inyo kung paano mo siya i-apply. Kung paano yung itong um, uniqueness mo na to is yung aangat sa iba. So, pare-pares kayo sa isang gym. Pare-pares kayo nag exercise Paano mo malalamangan yung mga kasama mong nag exercise doon? In true, in two, diverting or doing different variation ng mga exercises. You will not gonna focus sa isa lang. And then, lastly, we have the maintenance principle. So, ito na sinasabi sa reversibility. So, if you would, if you didn't maintain your um, exercise, wala rin mangyayari sa mga pinaghirapan mo. 
So, maintenance principles, the exercise must be regular to stay fit and healthy. By the following, all the other principles above, taking into consideration the principle of FITT, one can maintain a healthy level fitness. So, kung yun nga, ang gagawin ng bata, eh, is may maintain niya lang. From overload until the variation principle, eh, may maintain niya lahat ng ginagawa niya doon, walang magiging problema. So, everything will going into smooth and clear. So, ma-achieve niya, healthy ka, maganda ang katawan mo, lahat tayo happy. So, those are the um, eh, um, goals on training principles to achieve or to maintain the health-related fitness using by setting the FITT. Okay? So, I hope you learned from me. Thank you for listening. Good day and God bless. Bye-bye.